Hey, so sometimes people ask me as it relates to ozone, Dan, can it get rid of the smoke odor in my house? Can it, you know, it's killing me. I just bought this new house or, you know, my, my husband and I are moving into a home that used to be owned by my mother or, you know, whatever the situation is. A kid takes over mom and dad's home. Smoke odor is one of the really cool applications for ozone. I'm going to tell you right now, and I've said it before, ozone is not the cure-all for everything. But when it, com when it comes to, um, you know, smoke odors, Ozone is, uh, is, that's kind of where it works at its best. It's one of the things it does well. Why? Because in the same way that cigarette smoke moves around a home and gets into all the nooks and crannies, the ozone gas, which is activated oxygen, as some people call it, um, it does the same thing. It gets into, it gets into the heating and cooling ducts. Uh, it gets into nooks and crannies. It does the same thing that smoke does. You will, however, need to know this, that unless you go, let's say you can go to uh, the store and buy like a small ozone machine, that could take you years to do what you could do in a matter of hours with industrial shock treatments of ozone. So it's really important to know that uh, whatever you do, you want to have a powerful ozone generating mechanism, a machine, an industrial ozonator, uh, what I call an ozone cannon, and that'll really do the trick for you. Um, I will tell you this though, there is no measure of ozone in the world that can take over uh, what a little bit of elbow grease will do for you. You really, I always tell my clients, I'm like, look, Go in first before you, you know, before you actually have me come in with the ozonator. Go in first and rub, the, scrub the walls down with the TSP, the flooring, tear the carpet out. I mean, smoke gets everywhere. And some people, I have real estate agents that call me. They'll have a, somebody that lived in a house. I had one recently for 50 years, and there were three smokers in that house. And um, anyway, I mean, smoke can be wreak a lot of havoc. Um, but the big trick is, you can go through all that work though. I'm kind of jumping just for a second. And if you don't get the ozone into the duct work, you're going you're gonna to still smell smoke when it's all done. So the trick is scrub the walls down with some TSP. Why? Because here's my theory on that, and I think it's pretty strong. It sort of like, if you will, breaks the skin of the nicotine and the, and the tar that's been on the walls for years. And, and at a molecular level, it, it opens it up. It opens it up so that when the ozone does contact it, it actually neutralizes it. And that's the cool thing about ozone. It can neutralize viruses and... Uh, mold spores, uh, fungus. I mean, it really does an amazing job with all that. When you have smoke odor issues, ozonation, industrial ozonation is a great way to take care of it. And I'm going to tell you now, I've repeated this before, if you go and rent these at the local rental facility, you're not going to get the quality ozone uh, output, the actual production, nowhere near, nowhere near what an industrial ozone cannon can do for you. Uh, in fact, roughly speaking, they're uh, the best in my, living in the Detroit, Michigan area, uh, the best that I've come across is a place that was renting out a unit that did a third of what mine would do with a fan that was about one-tenth as powerful as the fans on my ozone generators. And also inside those units are mica plates, not the high-grade uh, metal alloys that I use inside the industrial cannons that I use. So if people pick them up and drop them, those mica glass plates actually break so that whatever you're getting from the rental shops probably aren't even working at their rated output. So that's it on smoke odor, killing the smoke odors in your homes, in your businesses, whatever. Uh, ozonation is an awesome way to do it. And also, be sure to check out uh, ozonatorrentalmichigan.com, ozonatorrentalmichigan.com.